regaining our views of the Cygnus resupply craft as astronauts uh, Anne McLean and David St. Jacques prepare to release it from the Canada Arm 2 on the International Space Station. The vehicle has now been unlatched. Snares are open on the Cygnus resupply craft, meaning that it is now detached from the International Space Station at 10.16 a.m. Central Time, just over Peru. Got a view um, from the Cannon Arm 2 of the Cygnus resupply craft now backing away from the International Space Station. Once again, that was a 10.16 a.m. Central Time uh, detachment over the Pacific Ocean, just west of the coast of Peru. Teams on the ground reporting that everything is looking nominal for the Cygnus departure. Cygnus now four and a half meters away from the Canada Arm 2. Houston Station on two from the cupola. Cygnus depart commanded. Great job and congratulations to the Northrop Grumman and ISS teams. John Young was a great pioneer of the space frontier and it was an honor to have SS John Young aboard the ISS. Indeed, uh, John Young, a very successful predecessor of ours, the only person to fly twice on each of the three NASA programs, Gemini, Apollo, and the Space Shuttle. 
SS John Young was also a very successful mission launched from Wallops Island, Virginia, on uh, November 17, 2018, captured two days later, docked at a space station for two months and 20 days. It arrived with 3,350 kilos of cargo and departed with more than two and a half tons of trash. Conducted more than 20 experiments, including groundbreaking science to help us understand and treat Parkinson's disease in a new prototype facility for recycling and make our own tools here on orbit. Cygnus will continue supporting education research and the growing space economy even after it departs our orbiting laboratory, deploying several CubeSats and performing investigations after departure for several weeks for commercial and government customers. It's great to see the teamwork between NASA, commercial entities, and so many people in so many countries to make all of this happen. The departure burn of Cygnus has begun. Thank you for that. And the Cygnus departure burn is now in progress. So you can continue to monitor departure at steps two and three in 1.602. The vehicle now exiting the keep out sphere, about 200 meters away from the space station. Station Houston, Cygnus departure burn is complete. You can safe the FS RMS per step five in one decimal three two zero. In Station Houston, Cygnus has exited the two hundred meter keepout sphere. Confirmation from Capcom Lara Beachy to the crew on orbit that Cygnus has exited the keep out sphere. Cygnus getting smaller and smaller as it continues to depart from the International Space Station, heading toward the approach ellipsoid about a mile, uh, or sorry, a kilometer away from the International Space Station. Astronauts are continuing to monitor its departure. Station Houston on two for Cygnus. Cygnus has ex exited the approach ellipsoid. Now that Cygnus has crossed the approach ellipsoid, joint operations have concluded between Mission Control Houston, between Mission Control Houston and the Northrop Grumman Cygnus Mission Control Team in Dulles, Virginia. This concludes an 81-day stay on the International Space Station for Cygnus. However, its mission is not over. Now that Northrop Grumman mission control teams uh, have control of the vehicle, they will maneuver it to release a series of CubeSats above and below the International Space Station. Cygnus will remain in orbit for the next couple of weeks until February 25th when it burns up over the Pacific Ocean.